Hey guys, welcome back to Little Lady Place. Today I have this really great toy. It's called Resources, as you as you could see here. And it's actually it's really interesting. It's a cross between blocks. They're not wooden, they're more rubbery. So let me show you what's inside. So without further ado, I have the resources bag. Well, first of all, totally love it. It comes in its own bag. Look at that. Open and close. So in terms of mess and portability, thumbs up right there. And let's go inside. Whoop. Just one thing to point out, I'm not a fan of white, but then again, you can bleach it. So I don't know. Anyway, let's actually check it out. You have all of these really cool shapes. Now, one thing I found interesting, which I didn't know before I received it, you could see here, these apparently represent nature, which I just thought these were cool. I didn't, you know, nature wasn't on my mind, but apparently this is water. You can see like little waves. And then you have wood and it shows it right here. So I thought it was just like a really cool feature just to have sand. But again, to me, this wasn't the most important thing, but it was kind of fun to know now that I have it. And yeah, that's it. You have all these pieces and it is really cool. This is just a really cool toy because I'm going to show you. First of all, you can build. Now, blocks, you just build on top of them. And don't worry, that's fine. You know, I'm working on balance, but look at this. You have the little balls over here. See the little balls? But these balls actually stabilize. So look at that. So you can actually take this a little bit further. So that's like a really fun thing. And some of these have double-sided edges. Not all of them, some of them do. And so, yeah, first we can work on balance. And balance is a really, really important skill. Hand-eye coordination. And in terms of, like I showed you, um, I got a little balls here. You can actually create a marble run. Woo! <laughs> so, oh my gosh, these are so cool. And I like the little people over here. You just, like, plop them, oh, pop them on top of a rock. Here you little go, top of a rock. Um, just the... If you ever think of open-ended play, this is it. I mean, look at this. There's so many more pieces in here. I just think of like having a marble run with just the, um, you know, what would be fun is like you could kind of introduce physics with the kids. Um, for example, which ball will go down faster? You take your little, obviously, you know, do this on an open surface, build up. You know, have one, two, three, have this little guy here. But what I'm doing here, open-ended play. I mean, literally, I'm just sitting here exploring and just having fun with physics. So this is great because this toy also allows you to have fun with physics. And I like that because you know what? You're not telling the kids, hey, guys, time for a physics lesson. Nope. You're saying, hey, guys, let's play with resources. And these I like because they're they're not very they're not hard they're softish but they're not like i guess squishy soft as you could see here so they have some give they have some flexibility they're pretty hard and you can see there they're nice and hard the colors are more of a neutral palette like even the pink it's not a very bright overwhelming pink so if you are more I know some spaces are like more minimalist. This is not going to overwhelm you with color and that's really huge. You know, they're kind of like dulled and they're just pretty. I personally like the water. <laughs> you got kind of this wave going on here, but these toys are very simple. They're very basic and the key is they're fun and they're very open-ended. Just literally, um, what I would do is just as a fun suggestion, um, I do this. Sometimes, you know, you have like these boxes and you rotate them. So this would be fun. You take it out of the bag. You put that in the bin for like a month or two. Scoop it back up in the bag. Take it away for a month. And the kids are always excited because there's so much you could do in terms of exploration and the quality. The quality is just there. Look at this. This represents steel. Look at this. It's flexible. It holds the, the bowls well. And you can just like create your own things with it in terms of just having fun. And I, I like the marble idea because it, um, this is actually be a totally fun idea. If you know, just like, um, in like a hallway. So it's like narrow and wide, just like have the kids at one end creating all these like marble runs and then seeing how far down or which marble 
depending on what they do, will go the furthest and then have them experiment. Oh, his went further. Maybe it has to do with the incline and just have them experiment. So this is a toy. It's very open-ended. There aren't very many rules or instructions, which allows kids to really be creative and challenge your kids to see what they could do. And the best part about it is that these people have no faces, no faces. You don't know if they're angry, don't know if they're mad, you don't know if they're glad. And the kids can actually use that to their benefit because it's not telling the kids how to play. And that is a huge plus. So all these pieces, thumbs up in my opinion, good quality. There is no rules on how to play. It's completely open-ended. It's just amazing. And the best part is it comes with this little bag. So in terms of cleanup, put it in and you're good to go. And this toy is resources. It does make a great gift. It's one of those toys, it's not blocks, so if the kid doesn't necessarily like blocks, this is a toy that will give them, you know, fun education, but the key is fun. So, in my opinion, Resources is definitely up there and a great toy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know what you think. Is there a toy specifically you want to see more fun, or let's make education happen together. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy playing!